recognising hidden homelessness. Can I thank you for your question? Uh, uh, hidden homelessness affects thousands of Londoners. My draft London Housing Strategy, the first ever uh, to contain a chapter dedicated to homelessness, recognises that homelessness has many forms, including the hidden homeless. It outlines a range of policies that will help Londoners face in different forms of homelessness. For example, investment in new specialist accommodation for young people who are in education, employment or training, but at risk of homelessness. My work with boroughs so they can offer better accommodation options to households who do become homeless. And my new pan London services for rough sleepers, such as the night transport outreach team, that will help more people off the street. While I'm doing all I can to help those facing or experiencing homelessness, any short and long-term solution to homelessness, including hidden homelessness, needs the government to act too. The Assembly's Housing Committee's report recognises this fact, with many of the recommendations focusing on changes government needs to make. In addition to your recommendations, I'd also emphasise three key areas that my draft housing strategy and draft London plan refer to where long-term government support is needed to help those who are hidden homeless. First, government needs to reconsider the welfare changes that uh, we know are fueling rising levels of homelessness in London. Second, the government needs to work with us to fundamentally rethink the private rented sector. The ending of tenancies in this sector is now the single greatest cause of homelessness in London. Third and above all, we need the government to invest in more in the delivery of new homes. Many forms of homelessness are first and foremost the result of London's shortage of affordable homes. The need to tackle that shortage sits at the heart of both my draft housing strategy and my draft London plan, which set ambitious targets for the delivery of new and affordable homes. Thank you, Mr Mayor. Um, thank you for acknowledging the report the Housing Committee did. Um, I think possibly the most shocking fact in it is the estimate that there's 13 times more Londoners on any one night who are hidden and homeless than you find on the streets. And that means that they're homeless, but they may not be getting any support at all from the authorities. They're not in the statistics that we record. Um, I think our report shows very clearly there's, there's many, many Londoners who are out there on the brink of becoming homelessness, homeless and a lot of other Londoners are being very good and, and looking after them and putting them up and I think we should, we should need to acknowledge the fact that many people are looking after their friends and their family just by who are actually homeless and really they should be getting help from the councils, from the government as you say. Um, there wasn't much mention of specific hidden homelessness measures in your housing strategy um, and there's a couple of things that are actually recommendations to you within the recommendations from the committee, so I wanted to ask you about those. Um, one thing we also found is that only one in five young people who are facing homelessness even approach the local authority for help um, and local authorities are going to have to give them more help soon. And so recommendations three and six in the report both ask you to do more to get better information and advice to people in this position. Uh, recommendation six asks you to promote existing homelessness advice and support and put guidance for those who may be at risk of homelessness on the London website. So can I ask you if you will do that? So recommendation six, uh, both the local authority and voluntary sector services, as you know, are under considerable pressure at the moment. Most have seen sharp reductions in their funding and local authority services are preparing for major changes in their legal duties. So we've got to be a bit cautious about promoting advice services when they're already overwhelmed uh, and won't be able to, to help. Position is different in relation to rough sleeping because I commissioned panel and services to help this group off the street. So I will be publicising the help available to rough sleepers over the Christmas period using both the london.gov.uk website and advertising space on the public transport network. Excellent. That is, that is my, most of my next question, actually. Um, you mentioned in your introduction uh, to my answer, your answer, um, the uh, Transport for London teams that you've got out now trying to find people who are using night buses and tubes as places to sleep and may not be picked up as rough sleepers. Uh, we asked you to use Transport for London advertising space to inform people who might be hidden homeless where they can access relevant services, something like uh, Centrepoint's helpline, um, which is specifically aimed at young people. Uh, would, you, would you be prepared to, to do that then, give over some of the space that's advertising the hopper maybe? To uh, I'm making an announcement on this tomorrow. Okay, thank you very much. Um, Finally, uh, you mentioned uh, the government needing to do more. Uh, we've got a lot of councils out there struggling in advance of the Homelessness Reduction Act to find the funding that they think they will need um, to deal with this next April. Um, the Act gives them more duties towards people at risk and the government's given them new, what they call additional burdens funding to help them temporarily. But I personally don't think this is anything like enough. 
Um, I've been looking at the reports from Camden Council, where I'm a councillor. Uh, they've recently estimated additional costs of up to £2 million a year, while the government's funding for them is £878,000 spread over three years. Uh, London Councils is doing work on this, uh, but it would help a lot, I think, if the Mayor was to take strong action to lobby the government to help councils more. Uh, will you do this? Will you use your voice to, to call for this funding? Absolutely, and thank you for raising this. I mean, and the bad news is that the, uh, the Chancellor in his uh, budget announced pilots for other parts, three parts of the country, not including London. Mm -hmm. You'll be aware from your personal experience uh, there's a huge crisis in London uh, as well. Of course, I'll use my, my, my role to work with London councils to lobby the government. It's, it's uh, devastating that, um, that this Christmas again there'll be people sleeping rough who otherwise shouldn't be and uh, so you can rest assured I'll be doing that. Okay, thank you very much.